Transport enthusiasts here, and this OMC2 tutorial video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix the London bus, uh, London City Bus C400R that has become broken since Alan London has been released. So this is to do with the fact that they share the same file name, which means that any maps like uh, Scuntorp, Yorkshire version 2.0, or some other that use the City Bus uh, C400R don't work because they give you an integer vert error, which is an integer value error. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to download the UKTT London Bus C400R, uh, link is in the description, or you can just find it in Thalassums, uh, but that link will lead you there. Then what you want to do is once it's downloaded, you want to rename the London City Bus. So if you take a look here, I've renamed this to London City Bus C400R, so I just make sure you add in an R at the end. Then what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to our OMC2 directory, like so. For those of you who don't know what your directory is, it's this PC program file sums, uh, this PC program file sums 86 team, team apps common opsy 2. Once you're there, you're going to go into vehicles and then we are going to drag this in. So, now one thing to bear in mind is that if this is your first time installing the bus, you need to drag these things in. But this is already there since I've already had the C400R, so I'm going to install the vehicles part. So, we're going to vehicles and then drag this in. There you go, so now you're going to see that the C400R is in there. We're going to copy now our hot files. Like so, uh, there we go. You probably don't need the power bonds ones, so you can get rid of those. So then we're going to click copy and we're going to paste them into here. So now, uh, skip these files, the ones that are already there. Now, one thing to bear in mind is if you take a look into the London City Bus C400, you'll notice that the bus files have the same name, so we need to change the name of the bus file as well. So, the way we do this is we go back in here. For the London bus city bus C400R, we're going to rename this. So, actually, let me check if that's the case. Uh, London C400 Boy. Yeah, so then what we want to do is you're probably going to want to delete these. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to. Yeah, so you can probably leave those in there. Yeah, so you can leave that in there. So then what you have to do is, yeah, that's fine, leave that in there. Because what we're going to do now is, if you go click rename, control C, what you want to do now is, you want to go into your um, AI list of the particular maps. So we need to go into our maps folder, then we need to navigate to our, basically all the maps that use the C400. So let's go to this control first, go to AI lists. Then we need to change this. So as you see here, here it's London City Bus C400. Now it's just going to, paste in London City Bus C400R because we've changed the file name and we're going to do that for all the buses like so yep and okay that's fine then save that and you're going to do this for uh, all the maps that use the C400R so we're going to go to Smart and Fictional and go to AI Lists and again we're going to change this from C400 to C400R so what that means is when when it's loading the AI, it's not going to load the AI from the London C400 folder, it's going to load it from the C400R folder. So basically, this sh is going to stop it, locking you. Uh, it's going to solve that issue there for you. I'm going to do that here as well. And we're going to paste this in. That's fine. So file, save. And then finally, we are going to do this for Yorkshire version 2.0. So, go into here. AI lists. And we go into here. We go into here and so forth. Uh, probably actually, I'm just going to go back. I think we probably need to delete those from the C400 because I'm sure the loading the bus might cause you errors if you have that because it's going to show you them twice. So, file, save. So, if we go back into our vehicle folder, like so, and go back into the London City Bus C400, what I recommend doing is until there's a fix, just create a new folder. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do is just going to cut this out. So. Just gonna, so this is your, this is the void. Anything that has a regional in it, we're gonna cut from here because this is the regional. Cut. I'm just gonna leave this as a backup. So what I'm gonna do is, in the vehicles folder, I'm just gonna make a backup. So I'm gonna call this a flip. No, nope. don't do that. Cut. New folder, and then I'm gonna put up a C400R bus file backup. So we can paste those back in once the fix is out. And then, like so, this is just to stop OMC2 getting confused because if you try loading the bus, what might happen is if you have the bus file in the C400 folder and the C400 or folder, then sometimes it's going to load in the C400 and it's just going to cause uh, errors. So, to keep OMC2 happy, just delete those bus files, the regional bus files from the City Bus C400, 
and leave them just in the C400 R folder. Okay, now what's the only thing left to do is to prove to you that this works and I haven't been spamming you, so let's open up Home Studio. So once Home Studio is loaded in, I shall return. Okay, so I'll see you in a few minutes. Um, yeah, so as you can see, we're loading in Home Studio now and um, this is kind of fairly easy to do. It's a lot, it's a lot simpler, uh, you know, it's a lot less daunting than SCP at first sight. So now what we're going to do is we shall load in Scontrop. Uh, yeah, I think we're doing Scontrop. Actually, we'll load in the new Oxshire 2.0. So then we're going to load the map without process. And you're going to notice that it's not going to give us the error anymore. And that also we can load in the regional now, so... Sure, that's fine. Now, of course, if you're having any issues with this, you can always join our Discord server. We have an OMS2 help section there, and also we have a channel OMS2 community posting info about all the latest news, that kind of stuff. So do make sure to join the Discord if you're interested in the OMS2 community, that kind of thing. Or the OMS2 news, and you know, if you need any additional help, also you can use the comment section down below. That works too. Do give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, and also do make sure to subscribe for more OMS2 tutorials and videos and live streams, that kind of thing. Okay, so now, I'm just going to stay on here because this is where people usually get the... Uh, message so obviously to show that that's not the case in this case uh, that's not the case here yeah, so I don't know I'm gonna load in Windhaven uh, Windhaven bus terminus load in there so then as you see it's gonna go all very smoothly there is gonna be a fix by UKDT at some point they have said but to be honest uh, most people have used this fix because it's generally easier there is also an alternative method that involves uh, deleting the air conditioning units from the regional bus because that's apparently what's causing the error um, but that's kind of more messy and requires you to go through scripting and leaves more potential for breaking stuff so I would probably advise against that. So as you can see OMS2 has been error free so far so for us uh, thus far and it shall uh, be like this hopefully. Yeah of course you can also probably fast forward into well oh there we go. Perfect. So as you can see, the map's loaded in, no errors whatsoever, which is obviously quite nice. And now what we do is, you'll notice first of all, that we should have the C400 RS as AI. Yep, there you go. As you can see now, there's our C400 R. Now the only issue is your repaints are going to be white. And the reason for this is because the repaint CTI file, uh, it's red. The CTI file is going to tell you that uh, it has it written as a C400, because here's the C400 R, so you're going to have to edit the CTI files as well. Um, not the CTI files, we're going to have to edit the parts of those as well. It's probably not something we're going to show in this video because it's a bit more technical. And then, there you go. So, as you can see, our C400s are going around. But yeah, that is one issue, is now the libraries will be white. So, and that's of course, as I said, because the... That's due to the fact that the... That's due to the fact that the libraries is within the C400, we've changed this to the C400 or... But if we take this bus over, you will notice that we can drive this. And it works like it should. So yeah folks, that's really it. Hope you found this video helpful. Do give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to subscribe for more content. As you can see, uh, everything's working again. That's it for now. Until next time.